Dr. John Clulo and his team from the Lazarus Project are trying to resurrect a frog, the gastric brooding frog, declared extinct in 1983. They're taking the DNA from frozen cell samples and planting it inside the healthy eggs of a distant relative, the great barred frog. And according to Professor Michael Marnie, it seems to be working. Um, I suppose the most exciting thing is that we've actually seen an embryo grow through the first 24 hours of growth. The gastric brooding frog was unusual. It would swallow its own eggs and keep them in its stomach where they would gestate. The adult would then give birth through its mouth. The reasons for the species demise are unclear, but Lazarus Project scientists are optimistic they can bring it back. We've um, shown through uh, DNA profiling and DNA uh, analysis that the genetic material that's developing uh, in the cells of the new embryo are in fact from the extinct frog. There are still significant challenges to overcome, but if the gastric brooding frog can be reproduced, the technology could be applied to other extinct species and to the many other amphibian species at risk. We've got very close, um, but we've actually created a, a set of um, uh, tools, I call them, like a, uh, technical um, approaches to prevent extinction, or at least to buy an insurance policy for, for many other frogs faced with extinction. Most scientists agree that many species are now vulnerable because of human activity. The Lazarus Project aims to use science to bring them back.